Are you ready? Assalamualaikum, I'm Nur Akhidah Najah binti Muhammad Rafi. Okay, a typical conventional bank earn money from interest by lending out money to customer. You will enter into a loan agreement and the agreement will state amongst others. The amount you borrow, interest rate and uh, the installment amount and the loan tenure. But the concept does not apply to Islamic bank. In Islamic bank, every banking activities must not involve any interest. This is because Islam teaching their follower from giving or receiving interest. Therefore, Islamic bank only offer sharia compliant personal financing to their customer. So, from this, we know what are different between Islamic finance with uh, conventional finance. So, we will go to the specific term which is uh, product disclosure sheet, uh, PDS for personal financing. For Islamic Sharia Finance Principle is all of the Islamic men in Malaysia practice uh, Sharia compliant whereby all financing activities must not contribute to this following which is DIBA <coughs> Paying or charging interest Haram Investing in business conducting prohibited activities such as alcohol and gambling Gara Uncertainty and existing risk Maisin uh, Speculation or gambling Generally Islamic personal financing fall into one of the two concepts below which is by uh, Inah and Tawaru. Here we will explain these two concepts in more detail. By Al Inah is uh, to break down to the term of by Inah by is sale, which is is trade and re, uh, profit on a sale. In supply term, Bank Negara Malaysia BNM defined by Inah as a sale contract followed by repurchase by the seller, the financier at a lower price. Here is an illustration to describe how does the Bainah contract work. Basically, there are two contracts in the Bainah concept. The first contract uh, is known as asset or commodity sales agreement. The second contract is known as asset or commodity purchase agreement. To start, let us assume that the customer apply for a bank and corporacy uh, personal financing of 10,000 without any uh, financing warranty. In the first contract, financial sale its asset to customer at the price of 12000 on different payment. Customer will pay a monthly installment of 500 for 24 months to the financial as per the agreed contract. In the second contract, customer then sell the asset back to the financial in order to obtain cash. Financial pays uh, uh, 10000 uh, to customer on a cash basis. To summary, the financing amount that the customer will receive is uh, 10,000. The additional 2,000 2, from the 12,000 deferred payment is the profit earned by the financial. The contract will be considered fulfilled when the customer receives uh, the cash and sell back the asset or commodity to the financial. This means that in order uh, for the Bayina concept to work, the first contract asset commodity sale agreement has to happen before the second contract asset commodity purchase agreement. Next is second concept which is Tawaru. Generally, the concept of Tawaru is similar to Bayina except the Tawaru involves uh, an existence of the third party in between, usually known as an agent or broker unlike Bayina. Tawaru is described as a buyer who buy an asset or commodity on different basis. Then a buyer sell the asset on a cash basis uh, to the third party. Here uh, is an illustration to describe how does the Tawaru contract work in a simplified manner. Customer want to apply for personal financing of 10,000 similar to Bayina. 
there are two contact will involve. In the first contact, financial sale the community of 12,000 to customer. Customer will pay the purchase of the community on a different basis through installment of 500 for 24 months. In the second contract, the customer then sells the community at 10,000 through a sale agent appointed by financial. Agent by the community uh, 10,000 in cash and the customer obtain the cash uh, as the financing. In, sum in summary, the total financing amount that the customer will receive is 10,000, similar to buying a concept. The additional uh, 2,000 from the 12,000 uh, deferred payment is the profit earned by the financer. The Tawaruf concept is considered complete when the customer purchase a commodity from the financier and then the customer sells the commodity to a third party agent to obtain uh, 10,000 in cash. In more detail, the first contract under Tawaru is called Murabaha, where the cost plus profit have been made uh, known to the customer. For example, the customer uh, is aware of the profit made, the, made by the financier. Generally, it is important to know which Islamic concept is being applied by the financial institution to ensure that the Islamic personal financing you are getting in the Sharia compliance. As you can see uh, now, uh, when you enter into uh, Islamic personal financing, you will encounter an asset commodity sale agreement rather than a loan agreement. Uh, but don't worry, you will know by physically receiving or selling the commodity involved as you can see from the flowchart. But the buying and selling are happening at the same time and the process will be handled by the financiers. Assalamualaikum, I am Nur Akira Humaira binti Muhammad Sabri. Next, I will present about Islamic finance issue that related to the stated product disclosure sheet which is product disclosure sheet for Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad whereas Bank Islamic Berhad for personal financing. So here, I will share a few differences between this product disclosure sheet for Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad whereas Bank Islamic Berhad for personal financing. So I will give a few examples of issues about implementation of personal financing or we call it Tawaruk for Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. Through personal financing Tawaruk, customer can afford obtain cash uh, financing from the amount of 10,000 to 200,000 for the period maximum payment up to 10 years. The instrument uh, of Al-Tawaru works in a way the bank sells the commodity to the customer and after buying it, the customer will appoint the bank as its representative to sell the commodity to a third party. Proceeds from the sale of commodity will be handed over to the customer for expenditure purpose who are Sharia compliant. BNB offers two types of personal financing tawaru, namely package type and not a package. To get the package type, the customer uh, must be an employee at under the company subscribing to the tawaru package personal financing. Commodities or al mangkut nalai are the pillars of hot trading discussed by Fukaha Ma'amalat Islam. Therefore, this study makes the segment al mangkut nalai in personal financing tawaru transaction as the main focus of the study in evaluating the implementation of personal financing agreements at BIMB in addition to trying and unravel other issues. Commodities in al tawaru trading serve so, uh, as collateral assets for achieve the main purpose of the contract which is to obtain cash. On, on this basis, the commodity use must be mutakawam for fast moving goods and easy obtain so that the buyer broker of the commodity is easily available in a short time. To ensure that the commodity traded really exists and comply quality as well as quantity, the AP has visited the warehouse owned by the broker list below international market which to make quality in most cost which is relatively high given that most brokerage warehouse are located overseas. Furthermore, the AP as a business institution needs to conduct its business on a policy of mutual trust uh, with other companies. However, BNB continues to conduct continuous communication with international markets for surveillance purpose as well as obtaining information related to the commodities trading. So next, I will move to product disclosure sheet for Maven Islamic Personal Financing. For this, it stated that this personal financing can be applied at uh, my apps easily. Regarding to the issue late payment charge, it stated that in case you miss a payment due date, 1% PA on the amount of errors calculate 
from overdue date till date of full monthly, payment will apply for this issue. The SSC at its fourth meeting date, um, 40 February uh, 1998, uh, 95 meeting date, um, 25 January 2010, and 101 meeting date, uh, 20 May uh, 2010, decide that the imposition of late payment charge by Islamic financial institution covering both concept of uh, warama finance uh, or penalties and taqwid composition are allowed subject to the following first taqwid may be imposed uh, on late payment of financial obligations arising from exchange agreements such as sale and purchasing and rent and guard second Tawid can only be imposed after the expiration of the debt repayment period agreed by both parties the contract. The Islamic banking institution may recognize Tawid as income on the basis imposed as compensation for actual losses um, incurred by Islamic banking institution and forced warama should not be taken into account as income. Instead, it should be channeled to curtain curtable bodies. Hi, my name is Fatih Osna Biti Kamsani and I will present about the solving issue. First Bank is Bank Islam Nasha Berhad has taken the initiative to make the personal financing Aitawari journey more clear, rapid and successful. They include a number of external Sharia instruments that serve as supporters of the personal financing contract which are rebate, fines and white mozin. First, rebate. Rebate will be given by the bank when the customer successfully settles the financing amount earlier than the stipulated period. Basically, rebate deductions are granted at the discretion of the bank and cannot be disputed by the customer. However, when it is implemented at BIMB, the bank will continue to offer refunds to clients who choose to pay their fees before the due date. For example, if a customer successfully applies for personal financing of 20,000 ringgit for a period of 10 years at a rate of 7%, then the sale price to be repaid is 33,999 ringgit 60 cents. He successfully completes the payment of the total sale price in the 6th year, which means 24th May. The 7% profit will only be calculated over 6 years. The profit rate for the next 4 years will not be determined. So, the calculation method you can see in this slide. Then, the original selling price of 33,999 ringgit will be subtracted from 28,400 ringgit resulting in a total of 5,599 ringgit 60 cents, which means 4 year profit balance. So, this amount of 5,599 ringgit 60 cents will be credited to customer's account as a rebate. Second is fine or tawit, which means the customer will be fined as a kind of restitution to the bank for failing to pay the sale price within the early refund time frame. Fines were also imposed to ensure that the clients are always aware of their responsibilities and that the bank is not harmed. The customers who are late paying after 14 days from the payment period set for each month will be charged a penalty of 1% of the monthly installment payment at the IMB. The fine will be calculated using the computer system at the bank. Third, what mozin. The customer will ask the bank to acquire the product in Al Murabaha Hill Al Amin Bi Al Shirak through the personal financing ITAWARO application. The customer has actually agreed to acquire the community from the bank in Al Murabaha with payment in installment using this notion. Next, for my bank, to solve their issue, they need to restructuring and rescheduling in Islamic financing agreement. They need to resolve that the proposal to cross refer a rescheduling and restructuring Islamic financing agreement to the original agreement for the purpose of stamp duty exemption is permissible provided that it is done after termination of the original agreement. In the case of reorganization, the SSE has recognized the cross reference technique to the original agreement, which was terminated on the basis of Maslaha, which is to avoid duplicate stamp duty payment. The SAC also wrote that the customer's financing time may be extended without the need for a new contract if both parties fulfill or agree refund obligations and the price imposed on the customer does not exceed the initial sale price. For example, the ministry has secured an agreement with the banking industry to dispose of additional charge imposed on installment payment of conventional and Sharia higher purchase agreements. Furthermore, an agreement was made that stipulates that the monthly installment amount of the loan for higher purchase borrowers, which is for conventional and Sharia, will not vary during the financing period and that no additional charge will be incurred during the moratorium period. Discussion Product disclosure sheet or PDS which means the sheet which contains and the relevant information and disclosure of the main terms of the relevant investment account I product offered by the bank. Bank Islam use Sharia concept of Tawaruk. Tawaruk concept consists of 
who says contract. The first contract refers to the purchase of commodities by the customer from Bank Islam based on the concept of Murabaha, which is cost plus profit at the bank's deferred sales price. In, in the process, purchase will be made by Bank Islam as the purchasing agent, agent on behalf of the customer. The customer is responsible for paying the amount due from the Murabaha Murabaha transaction in accordance with the terms of in the terms agreed upon. For the second contract, Bank Islam as a sales agent on behalf of the customer is responsible to sell the commodities to the other commodity buyers at the cost price of, of which is refers to the financing amount. For my bank Islamic Berhad, if the customer fail to fulfill the obligation, to fulfill the obligation, the the bank will have the right to impose late payment charge. Late, of, late payment charge consists of two, which is overdue installment or scheduled payment, and upon maturity, overdue installment or scheduled payment for failure. To, for failure to pay any installment or any payment due from the date of the first disbursement of the facility until its expiry or maturity date, a LP, LPC sum equivalent to 1% per annum of the overdue installment or payment or by any other method approved by Ben Negara Malaysia. Upon maturity, for failure to pay any installment or any payment due at you and which failure continues beyond expiry date or maturity date of the facility or upon judgment whichever is earlier at the LPC rate which shall be the prevailing overnight Islamic interbank money market rate on the outstanding balance due and payable or any method approved by Bank Negara Malaysia from time to time. The conclusion is product disclosure sheet is an important document in helping consumers make informed financial decisions. The concept of Tawarok is similar to Bagna, but there is a few difference between them which Tawarok is involved in the existence of a third party. When Islam personal financing, a facility is an unsecured or secure term financing to meet personal financial needs which is calculated based on floating rate. Maybank is an unsecured personal financing facility which is calculated on fixed rate basis resulting fixed in installment payment throughout financing nature. Thank you.